What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Visual Studio 2010, and we are going to be doing Lesson 8, which is updating records. Now, we're going to be reusing our code that we used in Lesson 4, which is uh, inserting records, and then Lesson 6, which is reading records. So, if you have not viewed Lesson 4 or Lesson 6, I strongly advise going back and watching Lesson 4, and then lesson six before you do lesson eight. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this one. And we're going to do new website. We're going to do an empty one. We're going to come over here and we're going to choose web form. We're going to go to split. And the first thing that we want to do here is let's go ahead and add in our button. And let's add in, oops, let's. Go back up here and let's do input type text name password and value equals and we're going to use our value and so uh, that we are going to be creating here in just a minute, minute but I'm going to close it. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do now is that we want to um, it's already there. So anyway, the next thing that we want to do is that we want to go in and grab a hold of our code that we use to read our records and I've already got that inside of a notepad so I'm going to come over here I'm going to copy it out and the code has to be put between your form tags and so we're going to come up here and we're going to paste it inside of here and we got to come up here and grab a hold of the top and then paste that there okay the next thing that we got to do after we save is that we got to come over here, open up our folder, and then we got to drag and copy our uh, users database inside of our website six. And so now, whenever we run this, we've got an error right there from the get go. Okay, so let's come down, debug, stop debugging. Okay, what we want is our password so let's copy that and place our password right there save it and then reload and we still got another one so okay we got to put this at the bottom well right here bottom of our div okay save it now open up and reload and now we've got our password sitting inside of our button so now let's come down and we need to double click here and see what we need to do now is that we need to grab a hold of our code for um, inserting data so let's come over open up this file file and let's go to new and I believe it's on website 6 and open up this file right here we want to copy this code place it here come back grab a hold of just this line and then place that right there okay now we can close out of that code okay so since we're only going to be updating the uh, password we're going to remove that and we're going to type in update user table set get rid of this put an equal sign there and break okay so that's basically all that needs to be done. Uh, just change that one little bit of line. That's the reason why I just copied and pasted it over because there's no real big sense to rewrite all of this if we're just gonna have this one line. So then we save this, we go back, open up the page, refresh it, and let's say that we wanna change it to 
new. Now when we change our password, it's going to insert it, then it's going to update our page, and then this is your password, it's going to be changed to password new. And there you go. So that is how you update records uh, from within your ASP.NET page. It is just really simple. Like I said, you need to watch lesson four for inserting records in order to get this code and then lesson um, six and uh, to read the records in order to get this code right here. So, all right, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking weekend. Bye-bye.